There's a shop in Mystic and they make nautical knots for gift shops all across the country and of course for those people that visit that shoreline town. Yeah, the family knot shop opened up more than 50 years ago and now the original owner's grandson is continuing the business as Mystic Knotwork. News 8 photojournalist J.P. Coleman takes us inside the art of knot making. Do you need something right now? No, I just don't need the knot. Yeah, that's on my to-do list tonight. We make nautical knots. My grandpa started the business back in around 57 or so. What does Matt do for 14 hours a day? <laughs> he plays the string. There's a family business. I was born into it. Instead of getting an allowance, I was uh, given tasks to make for knots for him, and that's kind of where this started from. You said you don't tie your shoelaces? I spent nine years in corporate America. Uh, I decided to go back to my roots and rebuild this business from a couple wholesale accounts I had at the time. Like that one? I fix copiers and printers out of the Hartford area. I just, you know, being creative, having time, and just getting back to my town and not having to drive so much. It's a really good thing, keeping my, keep my grandfather's memory alive. He would be impressed, he'd be surprised, because we actually do more work now in a year than he used to do, than he did in my whole time working with him. But I'm working with 12 people now, not just the one. My grandfather was known as the best knot tire in the world back in the 80s. People were traveling all over the world to see him. Um, you can see some of his pieces here in the shop. The knot I'm tying right now is called a Turk's Head Knot. You can find them on Grecian urns back into 3000 BC. Yeah, this is the nutty knot shop. <laughs> Not a whole lot of in innovation here, and that's actually what makes it unique in that um, as everybody else has progressed into plastic and 3D printing and digital and automatic, we still got cotton, cord, twisted, just, just like it would have been, you know, somebody from the Civil War could look at what's in my hand and recognize it. It's really just part of the heartbeat of life. It's, you know, I did this as a chore for my grandfather's, you know, allowance. So I'm used to just having knots in my hand. But with the string in my hand, it's like a comfort thing. Thank you for stopping in. Bye-bye.